Hello, welcome to a new video in this series and in this video this time we talk about the SQL predicate and what is it exactly and how it looks like. Um, the, SQL the SQL predicate, if you remember from our overview session, uh, is uh, exists in the data securities. Right? So it is used in data security and at its core has an SQL code. So what is an SQL predicate? Simply put, the SQL predicate is the where clause of a SQL select operation. You see in Sales Cloud, whatever you do uh, is either that you create uh, you know, some custom object uh, from Application Composer or you create uh, records in any of the objects from the Sales Cloud, like you create opportunities, create leads, or you create territories. Uh, whatever thing you do, whatever information you input in Sales Cloud, it will eventually reach out, reach the Oracle database. And the application, Sales Cloud, is built upon the Oracle database. So the information you input in the application will eventually end up as a row in a table from the Oracle database. In order to, to see that information from the database on your, in your browser, you know, for your end user, uh, those SQL predicates come into play. They are the uh, SQL code that is responsible to retrieving the information from the Oracle database. Uh, so, as it here in Sales Cloud, every object, either custom made or out of the box, is stored in a table among tables from the Oracle database. So every piece of information introduced in Sales Cloud will eventually end up as a row in a table from the Oracle database. The SQL predicate makes it so that the data from these tables and rows is retrieved for the user in UI. UI means user interface. Um, how does this SQL predicate look like? Well, the structure of the SQL predicate is pretty much this one. You will see uh, this keyword here, table alias, uh, you will see a column name, you will see the inward from SQL, and you will see a select statement here. These are some examples of how SQL predicate looks like. This is a very simple SQL predicate. It was created for a custom object, and the purpose was to retrieve to the login user only those custom object records uh, created by the login user. Uh, this is also an SQL predicate for a custom object and the purpose here was in that custom object there was a field, uh, dynamic choice field that was pointed to accounts. In the account uh, the sales team uh, had the login user so the requirement was that the user that is login should see only those custom record objects custom records, uh, custom object records that have an account associated with them and in the sales team of that account the login user is present. This is actually uh, an SQL predicate that's out of the box. It comes from the uh, account, uh, uh, account object and you see it has a slightly different uh, syntax but if you look carefully, you will see here the same table alias. Right, so this is these are three examples, and we will learn how to build such a such code. Now let me show you in the application where exactly you can find this SQL predicate. So we need to go to navigator, we need to go to security console. And in Security Console, as I already uh, described, we will see these tabs here. What they are interested in is the last tab called Administration. If we click on that. We will see right here on the right side, uh, Manage Database Resources. And if we click here on this one, we can search a database resource. Man database resources are a fancy way of saying objects. Basically, database resources are application objects. 
like opportunities, like this custom object here, like activities, like accounts. Right? So, for example, if I want to search for for this custom object that I have here called OSC sales op, I can simply put that name here. Hit search and it should retrieve me that that object right here. Now, if I edit this object, we will see the details of this object or of this database resource, as it is called. And we have some general information, some columns uh, for this object. I mean, these are the columns from the database in which the information that we input in this object is stored. Uh, here on this tab condition, this is where you actually see the SQL predicates. And all of these are custom made. Uh, for custom objects, you won't have any, any SQL predicate here. Uh, and if we edit one of these, You can see this is how the SQL predicate looks like, or uh, more correctly said, this is how the condition that contains the SQL predicate looks like. And, and based on this, you can use it in uh, in job roles to create database sec uh, data securities. Now let's search an out of the box object, for example, opportunity object. Now, for out of the box objects, the name is not so. We can we can search with display name, like this, and it should retrieve us the opportunity object. Now, here the names are a bit more tricky, but if you pay attention, you can figure out which one of these is for the opportunity. Well, all of them are for the opportunity, but I I want the one for the uh, header, basically. Not for opportunity revenues or anything, just the opportunity. And it's the first one here. This is actually the name of the table from the database in which information, uh, the records of the opportunity are stored. If we edit this one, again, we have the information about the tables columns. Again, we have the condition here and here. We have some out of the box SQL predicates uh, that come when you get the application uh, they are pre-configured by Oracle and you cannot modify them but if you hover the mouse over you can see the uh, the SQL syntax right here uh, so you can see here at the top you have table alias just like I told you here the syntax looks like uh, and the syntax can have different forms different formats uh, Regardless of that, if you pay attention to it, you will eventually see this pattern uh, with table alias, column name, and uh, SQL statement. Well, this will be uh, this is what we will learn next. You will learn to build our first SQL predicate. So I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.